Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Check this out. This is the Plain Print Eagle in its natural habitat out here. Look at this. This thing is so cool. Fully 3D printed. Link to the STL files in the description below so you guys can build your own at home. Let me take you back to the workbench. I'll show you guys how to put this entire thing together and then we'll have a little bit of flight video and see how this thing flies. Hey guys, welcome back to the workbench. Today we have an awesome build on the bench. Look at this thing. This is a two meter long eagle. I mean, look at that. That just, that looks sweet. I cannot wait to start putting this thing together. It uses a hybrid system between PLA and lightweight PLA to keep this wing light. Uh, this wing is massive. I just can't wait to start putting this together. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, this is what I do. I build 3D printed airplanes, show you guys how to do it so you guys can do it at home. And uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Uh, let's start getting work on putting this thing together. To start assembling this, we'll start working on the fuselage first. Uh, we use these uh, two bigger parts of the fuselage to glue together first, uh, just because the more challenging glue uh, spot right here is this big uh, surface here. So we'll use these tabs. You glue three of those tabs in place, and then we'll glue these two pieces parts of the fuselage together. Uh, to glue all these parts together, I'm using the Zapigat Medium CA glue. Uh, I've tested out a lot of glues and this one works pretty well, uh, but pretty much any medium CA glue uh, will work pretty good for gluing all these uh, plastic parts together. All right, now we're gonna set up the tail. So make sure that this part uh, moves freely. So we're gonna put a one millimeter wire in there and just clean up these pieces until they pivot easily on there. Cause you really want a nice, easy to move tail. Uh, so you wanna make sure that that one millimeter wire goes in there very easily. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, glue all these parts into the lightweight PLA. Uh, just use a pair of needle nose pliers to hold onto these, makes it a little easier to add the glue and then insert them in place. So when I was building this uh, part of the fuselage, I didn't have the piece of Lexan uh, clear plastic that I used for the rudder. So I'm gonna set this aside and we'll come back to this step uh, later on in the video. Uh, but I do have uh, parts linked in the description below to all the parts and pieces that I did use for this build. Uh, so for now, we're gonna go ahead and start working on uh, the rest of the fuselage. We uh, put the eagle head on there. We just used uh, two by eight millimeter screws for that. And then these are five by five by five uh, magnets. And we'll just go ahead and glue these into place into the cover and then uh, we'll make sure the orientation is correct for the magnets and we'll glue them into the fuselage. All right, now I'll grab this part. This is uh, to hold the wings on. So we'll just go ahead and glue that in. There's a little bit of a, a dimple area in that part of the fuselage to kind of indicate where that's located. Uh, and then we'll grab a HS55 servo and we'll set up the elevator servo. We're going to drill out this control horn uh, so that the adjustment collar will fit into place. So we'll put a nut on there and then we'll put just a little dab of CA glue, hit that with CA accelerator, and that'll keep that nut on, uh, in place. Then we'll grab the uh, receiver, bind that up to our transmitter, and we'll hook up the servo. Make sure that the servo is centered, and then we can put that control horn in place and set the set screw to hold the control horn in place. Then we'll go ahead and add this into the fuselage. We'll use two by 10 millimeter uh, screws. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set the fuselage aside and we'll come back to that to finish up the tail section. All right, now let's start working on the wing. Uh, so this wing is really cool. It uses a lightweight and a PLA system. So that's the lightweight part. And then this is a PLA uh, and it just allows it to keep a really lightweight wing, uh, but keep a really strong wing also. So you can see that that uh, section of the wing had the servo mount installed in it and then it holds a carbon rod. So it's nice and strong front section of the wing and then the trailing edge is all out of lightweight PLA, which just keeps this thing extremely lightweight for how big this wingspan is. 
Uh, so we'll just go ahead and glue all these sections together. You want to make sure that you remove these uh, couple parts. Uh, there's a piece there and there's a piece in the trailing edge too uh, that you want to make sure you remove and that's where the push rod for your ailerons go into. Uh, so you want to go ahead and clean those up before you glue uh, these two big sections together. And I'll grab these uh, tabs. It uses three tabs. We'll insert the tabs into the PLA and then we'll glue the PLA to the lightweight PLA. So for lightweight material, you can't re uh, reduce any of the stringing. So because of the way that these feathers print out, you can't remove any of this stringing during the printing process. So we just need to go ahead and clean it up with a blade and a little bit of sandpaper and you can nice make it nice and clean just like that. And I'll go ahead and glue uh, the feathers in place. The ailerons are printed out of lightweight PLA, so they use a PLA uh, control horn here just to glue next to that lightweight PLA would make it a little stronger. Then we'll go ahead and glue the TPU hinges in place. Just use a little dab of CA glue uh, to insert those TPU hinges in place. And then before we glue the aileron in place, we're going to set up the servo and the push rod uh, before we can attach the aileron. So we're going to go ahead and remove this part out of the servo mount location. We're going to drill out the control horn just like we did with the other servo, add the nut, the little CA glue, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and add the mounting brackets onto the servos. And then again, we're just going to go ahead and hook up the servo to the receiver, bind that to the transmitter. We're going to center the servo so that way the control horn is at the correct orientation. Uh, before we put the set screw in the control horn. Now we're going to need a little bit of an extension to hook up the servo, so we'll go ahead and attach that. And we'll secure it with, secure the two wires together, which is a little piece of tape, so they don't pull apart when you're hooking up the wing. We're going to go ahead and put a Z-bend and a 1.2 millimeter wire. We're going to go ahead and feed that into the wing, and this is where those, you know, those holes that you cleaned out when, before you glued the lightweight and the PLA together, just make sure that you have those cleaned out so that this wire goes into place. We're going to insert that through the servo just like I did there. And then it's uh, the Z-bend is sitting in the correct location. We're going to go ahead and hook up the aileron uh, in place. And then we're ready to add a little dab of CA glue to the TPU hinges and insert the aileron in place. Okay, now we can go ahead and cut the push rod to length. We're gonna add a little dab of uh, Loctite to the set screw for this adjustment collar. Set the servo in place, tighten down the set screw, and then uh, add your screws to the servo mounts to secure the servo in place. And then we'll test it out, make sure that everything works correctly. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean up this brim on this uh, servo cover. Uh, Plain Pro recommends to tape uh, these servo covers in place. Definitely it would be better to tape them in place. I'm going to go ahead and just use a couple dabs of CA glue to set those in place because it is a very thin piece and if I ever need to replace those servos or anything, I'll just cut them out and then reprint some new ones and glue them back in place. Uh, so now we're just going to go ahead and repeat the entire process on the other wing. All right, with both the wings then, we're gonna go ahead and add the TPU tensioners in place. Uh, these are a really cool feature because it allows for very easily removable wings. Uh, you know, the wings come on and off without using any uh, tools. Uh, so it's really easy function when you take it out to the fields. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set the wings aside. They're all finished up. We're gonna finish up the uh, rudder.
So there's a PDF that you can download uh, on the assembly manual and you go ahead and print that at 100% and then verify that the measurement is correct with the ruler. And then we're gonna just cut this up to be a little bit smaller. And this is a piece of Lexan. I used a 0 0.03 inch piece of Lexan. I'm just gonna use a glue stick and glue this piece of paper right onto the piece of Lexan. And Lexan has that clear plastic over it. So once I cut this out, I'll just peel the uh, clear protective off of it. And then you won't have to worry about any of that glue that you just added to it. So I'll just use a little saw to cut this uh, piece of Lexan out uh, from the template. And then there's uh, three holes that we're gonna need to drill and the Lexan drills pretty easily. You don't have to worry about cracking it or anything. Then we'll pull that clear plastic off. We'll verify the size is correct. We'll use a little uh, hobby knife to clean it up if we need to change the size a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use a piece of scrap material that I had uh, to clean up this groove. I just run it into that groove to make sure it uh, fits into the slot easily. We'll add two short screws and then we'll grab these two parts of the elevator I'm going to use a one millimeter rod to make sure they're lined up. We're going to glue just this back part of it, not the whole thing, just this back piece. We'll add CA glue that, uh, set that in place. We're going to use a one millimeter wire, bend a 90 degree angle at it, uh, cut that to length. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and use a 1.2 millimeter push rod for this. We'll bend a Z bend in one end, uh, slide this into the fuselage, uh, and then we'll slide that into the adjustment collar on the servo. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the head back off of the eagle so that way I can pull the push rod all the way through uh, the fuselage uh, until I get the elevator set up and then I can cut that push rod to length. So I'll hook that Z-bend onto the elevator, slide that in place. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide the one millimeter wire into the hinges. Uh, we'll center that and then we make sure that this moves nice and freely. You want this to just very easily move. Then we'll just add a small dab of CA glue to set that push rod in place. I will add Loctite to the set screw. We'll line up this elevator where it should be at and we'll tighten down the set screw. And then we'll cut this uh, push rod to length and we will put the eagle head back on. So the last thing we need to do is set up this eight millimeter carbon fiber tube. So we'll cut uh, two 40 millimeter pieces uh, for the rear part of the fuselage here. So we'll go ahead and glue those in place. And then the remaining uh, section of the carbon fiber tube is a 920 millimeter carbon fiber tube that we'll go ahead and insert into the fuselage. And then the wing sections will just slide onto that carbon fiber tube, then use those TPU tensioners uh, to secure the wings in place. And then uh, feed that servo wire in place and hook that up to the receiver. Wow, this thing looks awesome, the plane print eagle. I can't wait to get this out and fly it, but before we fly it, we're gonna actually paint this. Uh, so my wife is actually gonna paint this. She's gonna paint it into a bald eagle. So I'll hand this over to her. Wow, you guys check this out. This looks amazing. Uh, this is my wife Thea. She's usually working behind the scenes doing video stuff for me and uh, today she painted this awesome paint job on this eagle. So tell me a little bit about how you painted it, what colors you used, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I just used a water-based acrylic paint um, in a satin finish and I just used a picture for reference and just painted it. Wow, well it turned out really, really good. You guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this awesome paint job. This thing turned out so good. Now to finish this bald eagle up, we have to uh, finish the engine up. So to do that, uh, we just have to glue in the motor mount, which I use ABS to make sure you glue that in. And then uh, take the motor, I had to reposition the shaft, so I took the clip out of the motor, make sure I keep that set screw up to remove the uh, set screw to reposition the shaft. I reposition the shaft and then uh, put that set screw back in. Then just file a groove so that way you can uh, put that clip back in to hold the bearing in place in the motor. 
and then put all that back together. We'll insert the motor into the uh, eagle head. We'll put uh, Loctite on the screws and insert them into the motor mount. And then we're gonna set up the spinner. So I took the spinner apart so that she could paint that. Uh, so you just have to put the spinner back together. I did file a couple grooves in the shaft to, for the set screws to set onto the motor shaft and then just put the propeller blades back on. Uh, and then I hook up the, uh, put the receiver in place, use some Velcro to put that in. And then uh, I use a 30 amp ESC uh, for the motor. Okay, so that completes the motor setup and everything. We'll take it out to the field. We'll set the CG up. I'll show you guys how to set the controls and we'll see how it flies. All right, so the, uh, we're gonna run a three cell, thousand milliamp battery for this. We need to move the CG for just a little bit. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of weight to the nose of this uh, to get the CG set just below the battery. All right, there we got the CG set. Now let's start on the scale and see what we, uh, what we get for weight. So let's see what the ready fly weight is. It's about 1123, so about 1120 grams, and uh, plane print says it should be around 1160, so we're right at right at where we should be at for the weight. Super lightweight for how big this plane is, it's awesome. All right, so for this uh, build, we have a foldable prop on here. So in order to get this to work correctly, uh, we do want to set up a brake function on the ESC. So uh, it's pretty easy to set up. You just have to, just like you do throttle uh, range check where you turn on, you have a receiver on, you have your throttle up high, you plug your battery in, it'll just start beeping and then you bring it down, that's such a throttle range. So set the brake function. Uh, you do the same thing, you have a throttle up high, you plug the battery in, you wait till it goes past the throttle range beeps, which are short beeps, and then it goes to like beep, 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 beep. And then once it starts doing that, you bring it down and that'll set the brake function. So once we spool it up, it does this where it'll spool up and then it stops. And then once it stops, it'll fold the blades back. So if you don't have the brake on it, it'll continually keep spinning. Uh, and it won't actually stop now that fold up. So we got that set up now. So to set up the flight controls, it sets up a little bit different. It sets up like a wing. So we have, when we pull back on the elevator, we have uh, the tail is moving and then we have both the ailerons moving also. And then push it down. We just have the tail. guys wow that thing flew really good holy cow it's a little nerve-wracking getting on the ground the thing glides really well so i kept coming in it kept floating and floating and floating uh, and it's a little windy out here so i'd get catch the thing away and it would start gliding a little more so this thing flew really awesome uh, if you guys want to build one get the stl files in the description